<laughs> It'll be a bit ex...
Look, I'll let you.
这边。Take another step towards my queen, you hooligan. Your queen, eh? When she awakens, she will be mine due to a spell. She shall find a new life here and join my court. I won't let that happen. She shall become the Bride of Onyx, the ruler of these fiery lands. Having her as a wife will do wonders for my reputation. Of course, she will enjoy it as well. You and Odin, those with power are truly selfish beings. If all you want is a tool to help you gain power, look elsewhere. Return Gwendolyn to me. What? 
Are you a knight in shining armor here to rescue her? Bah! Look at yourself. I can smell the stench of death that follows you like a shadow. It sickens me. Tis the scent of that domineering wench in the netherworld. I, the ruler of the Fire Kingdom, find it repugnant. My fury awakens from the pit of my stomach. Let me show you my true figure, as described in the prophecies. I must hand her to you. I would rather. Lay one finger on her, and I will reduce you to ashes before you can scream. I don't believe this. You do not have the authority to tear us apart. Will you take her by force? Like a vicious thief? What? 
of my own feelings. My soul burns with a beast. A beast called love. I cannot attempt to leash it. How can I live with these feelings? And to lose her to you in one terrible moment. Your words are my thoughts exactly. Go ahead, kiss her. Wake her up. But she will not love you. A spell causes her slumber. The demon lord Odin came and told me this. But there is no spell on her that can control her heart. Is this why you did not wake her? Because you knew that she would not love you? Yes. When she wakes, she'll flee. And if that is the case, I would rather keep her here, asleep and under my control. <laughs> what? I see. Her heart. It cannot be manipulated. Good. Inferno King, I apologize for my rudeness. I wish to ease some of your pain. Should King Onyx desire it, I shall wield my sword for you just once. That is all I can do. Do not think you can restore my honor with this pledge. Just remember one thing. While I still live, I will not let you near her. What will you think when you see me as you awaken? Will you hate me? Will you run away forever? Such musings are pointless. I can't go back to the man I used to be. No matter how you react, and even if it only brings me pain, I want to see... I want to see my reflection in your eyes. I want to hear... I want to hear those soft lips speak my name. And if, for a moment, a smile lights your face, I will be able to live. No one controls me now. From now on, I act on my own for you. Cornelius, he squeezed my hand so tightly. Forgive me. I cannot help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. I do not approve. In 
way. How dare you? How long have you been there? Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwe. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. I. A king, eh? So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten about the curse she set on us. I have not forgotten. No, you have. Now read this once again. Read the prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother. That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like mother in Hindle? I'm sorry, Velvet. I spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. Why hath my slumber been disturbed? You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. When I speak, fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. No life can escape death. When life ends, a world is sealed. 
If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. Until, as the prophecy states, the Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Hmm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Even sinners before their execution are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. Princess, if I knew you would be visiting, are you still in the castle in the forest? It is a very nice castle. Everyone needs to believe that you and Ingwe are the only survivors of Princess Velvet, this is a perfect time. The Kingdom of Valentine was our exceptional skill, and we prospered in our golden age. Master Croy. Mm hmm? Princess, I'm off to earn some money. These days, I can get a fair amount of coins by working in the ferry. As we have discussed before, there are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world, caused by five disasters, a monster, a fire, a king of death, a cauldron, and a dragon. The prophecies about our own nation were similar. Ingwe and I were taught about these prophecies when we were younger. Princess Velvet, do not have an answer regarding how to save the two of you. Master Croy. Any instructor would be vague. They would guard their words to comfort their pupil. Scaldi. Is this an acquaintance of yours? Before the first Valentine heir came to this land, the prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King Galen of my country, Titania, listed these prophecies in an epic poem. The truth behind the catastrophe can be found in these verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The Psalms have been scattered and are lost. One section has been passed by word of mouth, however, it is quite vague. If you know not the words, tis best to admit that you do not know them. All wise men respect honesty. If you continue your folly, you will never find the answer you seek. You do not seek a debate. All you want is a fight. Oh, I feel dizzy. 
Be careful. Anger is likely to disrupt the amount of blood reaching one's brain. Then I salute your extensive knowledge. I bid you farewell. Master! That wasn't nice, Scaldi. I spoke only the truth. Tis fact that the Psalms foretell events to come. Is there any way to read the whole scripture? Only King Galen knows the entire poem. But Galen is held prisoner in the Netherworld. Hmm. You once said you are able to go to the Netherworld. Yes, indeed. I can. I'd like to know the truth. If the epic poems tell of destruction... I shall take you there and hand them to you. But please do not forget, if you seek fish, you must first bait the hook. What is it you want? Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book. If I can borrow the Book of Transformation... That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom's treasure. It is not mine to give. I only ask to borrow it for a short time. I see. Well, let us go before we change our minds. Ha! 
Why did you not assist me, disappearing like that? As you promised, I did borrow the book in question. But it was missing the section regarding the curse of the Puka. As it stands, I cannot help your current situation. The pages were removed. Ingwe must have interfered. There is not much time. If the Queen catches us, she will not allow us to leave. The King's prison cell should be nearby. Smell warm blood. Do I sense live humans? Oh, King of Titania, it is I. Be gone, you demons. I have already declined your request. Great King, although you do not wish it, we will one day release you. But our business today is different. We come here to ask you, Scribe of Arian's greatest epic, about the world's end. The scent of the blood coursing through your veins, I remember it. I am Princess Velvet, of Valentine. His grandchild. Please tell me of the prophecies that are based on the Psalms. What do you hope to gain? I wish to oppose destiny and escape a curse that would cause my death. <laughs> oh no, the Halia will hear us. This is all that is left in my head and in my hands. Seek out the rest. I shall dream about you saving the world. Ah, the corpse that calls itself royalty. She has come to torture us. Silence, Gap. I do not recall allowing visitors into the prison. Queen Odette of the Netherworld. You say you are from Valentine. The memory of that name makes me furious. That criminal you all call a king. He stole my eye and crawled out onto the earth. What? My grandfather? Your rudeness continues. Tearing you limb from limb is not punishment enough! Ha! 
Dahlia are gathering. We're completely surrounded. You stupid girl. We cannot run after angering the Queen. <gasps> That's... In this realm of death, I mistook you for my beloved, your mother, my dearest daughter, Velvet. Odin, this man drove my mother mad. Creatures born of fragmented souls. I shall pound you into your graves if you do not leave us. Criminal Odin. You will never be forgiven. You have been warned, you fools. It's you again, Odin. I desire you, Queen of Rotting Cadavers. I shall decline from kissing your hand, but I shall restrain myself while in your court. After stealing my jewel, how does a thief call himself restrained? The crystals of the netherworld are quite useful. It is a waste to leave them. Casting off darkness and shining through, you cannot defeat me. It will be my own hand that finally nails your casket shut. Do not think you will die peacefully. Let's go, Velvet. Don't come near me. Something must be wrong. If you have come to save me... The honey are growing impatient. But they do not tremble nor shy away. Let me take you to the Netherworld's exit. So that girl is Odin's daughter. I must escape quickly, too. A great it seems that there's a tremendous it's probably because I wonder if our country will ever let's continue on a nightmare and soon afterward the Aesir were ex the Aesir with after finding the ring of T both countries began hmm? <sighs> welcome what can I get With pleasure. Will this be all for you? Thank you very much. A great storm is raged again. Welcome. What can I do? be all for you? Thank you very much. A great storm has raged against them. Hello, Prince. That business is going very well. With this war going on, it seems that the...
business with this war. She went to the netherworld with that sorcerer? This is so dangerous. Oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, he may still be nearby. She's been looking gloomy ever since she returned. If I may ask, why are you so frightened? My grandfather. King Valentine has escaped the netherworld. The deceased king? But how? My grandfather was interested in the cauldron. If that is true, it must surely refer to the great cauldron that appears in the prophecies. Is this the beginning of the end of the world? I do not know. Tis impossible to speculate the motives of a king who has escaped the netherworld. You have such great wisdom. Do you know of any way to prevent this destruction, Father? Hmm. A single ring controls the cauldron. The ring? That my grandfather was wearing? Indeed, the ring of Titrell. If that ring is used to stop the cauldron, no one can restart it, not even a king. Where is this ring now? It's in the Fairy Kingdom, where the cauldron has been taken. I shall sneak in and recover the ring. What are you saying? Velvet! I would rather fight against death than wait for my cursed destiny to take me. I know a man who can magically send himself there. If I asked him... If you're discovered, all Puka will be labeled as criminals. Please, do not tell anyone of this. I don't want anyone else involved. Moving in the shadows will not hide you from the fairies for long. That is when this chain shall protect me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Princess, what brings you here? Ha! <laughs> 
I'm lost and...
Mercedes! What? You... Grandfather, did something happen? A thief defeated the knights and snuck into the palace. This woman is that thief. I can see that. You have something of ours. Return my mother's ring immediately. What was that? Is that the ring to Trell? This ring is at the center of this debacle. It belongs to Valentine. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this story. But you are mistaken. The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen. By the surviving Prince of Valentine. <gasps> prince? It can't be... Ingwe. Even if that's the case, I cannot return the ring. You are not going anywhere! Guards! Guards! Rock! <laughs> 
it. I'm relieved that you're all right. We were worried. Master. We, we can't let ourselves be seen. Hurry, we have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come search for it. Father, is the king really trying to create another disaster? I know not the king's mind. But if the king wishes to use the cauldron for atrocity once again, the only one able to stop him is the one who knew him in life. It will be up to Princess Velvet. But I cannot bear to see the princess in such danger. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain so you could act like a thief. Ingwe. Have you any idea how dangerous that ring is? Let me hold on to it, Velvet. Give me the ring. How do you know about this? We are twins. There is nothing you can hide from me. You said that Scaldi has friends in the Fairy Kingdom, did you not? If that chain makes you act so irrationally, shall I take it away? Don't glare at me like that. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry if I've upset you. Please, just leave me alone. I will eventually get that ring. But first, how can I stop the prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Tichrell? Your chain, it is the very first cipher. The king had it made sp The king back then. But... Grandfather... Princess, I have seen Valkyrie in the skies. They must be intent on starting. Welcome! What can I get? With pleasure! Will this be all for you? With pleasure! Will this be all for you? Thank you, Fair. Is there something you need?
Why are they here? The wind here is tainted with selfishness. Fools are fighting over a treasure at my grave. The world has become a rowdier place since I was last here. <gasps> it's been a while, has it not, Velvet? The last time, I lost my life here. Grandfather? What is wrong, my child? You tremble. I guess my appearance does not help. But alas, this is how your king returns. <laughs> Twas your duty to dance and console me, remember? So what is keeping you? Show your courtesy and kneel as you did before! Yes. Now! Do you remember who commands you? There, there. You are a good child who obeys my commands. I shall have you work for me, as you always have. We shall regain the cauldron and purify the old world. <sighs> Grandfather, please forgive me. What? Do you dare to disobey me? You? <laughs> It seems that I may need to use the whip to bring you back to your senses! Grandfather, please. You fool. Now follow me. The cauldron must be put to sleep. So that none may control it. What? No, you can't have the Ring of Tetrell. Where is it? Do you have it? I will not tell you, even if you kill me. You... You conceited child! But I cannot waste my time like this. I shall use the whip on you later. I... I have to calm down. Father is hurrying because he thinks that I can stop the cauldron. I must get there first.
Gooch for his bed. Uh, oh. else you want to order? Oh. 
I could shot, but it's the uh, oh. <laughs>
In this
All right, everyone fall in. We'll maintain formation here while we wait. Check roll call again. Lord Brigand! What are you suggesting? Why should we wait after coming all the way here? Gwendolyn's troops are already in battle. Tis not very far from here. Shut up! Don't lecture me! The princess has advanced too quickly! We shall advance slowly. We must save our strength. If we hurry now, we'll be unable to rush them. Do not worry, my troops. The king's pride and joy is fighting. Our victory is almost guaranteed. But Lord Brigan... You're so annoying. Fine! Go on ahead. I'll catch up. We're almost there. Tell them not to hold back. Lord Brigan, will you be departing as well? Don't be so hasty, you fool! Heroes wait for a dramatic entrance! But in the last battle, we did not make it in time, and Princess Griselda... Don't use that tone with me! Ah! Hmm. Huh? And who are you? What are you doing here? The Demon Lord's confidant. Out of my way. What's all this, then? Hey, wait! Uh! Don't disturb me! You! How dare you! Dear Cauldron, you neglect a child. Now, obey the ring. Listen to the voice of the ring's owner. Go to sleep. Stop all this. Let not a single cog spin. Now, not even my grandfather can control the Cauldron. Who is that over there? Tis Odin. It seems the battle is winding down. Soldiers are approaching. I must leave before they spot me. Master! Princess Velvet, you're safe! When I heard that you had run away, I gathered those who were determined to rescue you. This area is not safe. If Apuka is captured here, they will discover the entrance to the town. 
Someone's coming. Please, go and hide. I'll draw them away and buy you time. But... Please! Halt, woman! You're... You use a cipher. You must be a high-ranking officer. I am Gwendolyn. I am from the Honorable King's bloodline. The Demon Lord's daughter? So, she is my half-sister. And who are you? Tis now your turn to answer! <laughs> <laughs>